Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and today's video I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys my May TBR. Now May is also the month for the Asian Readathon. The Asian Readathon is being hosted by Cindy from Read with Cindy and I'm so excited for this readathon. If you guys would like to know more details I'll leave Cindy's announcement video linked down below for you guys to check it out but it is a month long readathon so it is the entire month of May. Now I don't have some of the books physically on my hands yet. I just ordered them a few minutes ago so there are in the mail currently coming to me and also I uh, not all of the books that are on my May TBR are for the Asian readathons because I usually do have some books that I have to read every month like my book club books and my wrap to books so those are not necessarily for the Asian readathon so let's go ahead and get started with my May TBR all right so the first book that I'm planning on reading for this month is actually a book that is both part of my May TBR and for the Asian readathons it is a book that the Biblio squad is reading for the month of April However, our live show is coming up on May 11th and it is Descendant of the Crane by Joan He. This is actually a Chinese inspired fantasy and it is about a girl. She's a princess and her father, the emperor, gets murdered and she becomes the new ruler of her very unstable kingdom. So it sounds fantastic. I absolutely love Chinese inspired fantasies. I haven't read that many of them so I'm excited to dive into this book. I've been hearing a lot of great things about this book so far but again as I said this is the Biblio Squad's book the month for the month of April. Our live show is on May 11th so if you would like to read this book with us and join us for the live show it is going to be on G Swizzle Books channel which I'll leave a link down below for you guys. The next book that I'm reading is for the Once Upon a Read Along. This has nothing to do with the Asian Readathon because it is Nexus by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. This is the sequel and the final book to the Andrama Saga. Zenith, when it came out last year, it got a lot of controversy. A lot of people were saying it's overhyped, it wasn't as good as everybody was saying, and that the only reason the book was popular was because of its authors. I don't know. I read the book and I actually really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was entertaining. Granted, it, no, it is not the best book in the world. It is not the most original idea but I still enjoy the book. I thought it had a lot of good entertainment value and so I'm excited to read Nexus. It is a sci-fi book set in outer space and I'm all for that. This book is not out yet. It will be out on May 7th. All right and then the third book that I'm planning on reading this month is not part of the Asian Readathon because it is my wrapped book. So in case you guys are new to my channel, my wrapped books are where I took 12 of my most unread books. These are books that have been sitting on my shelves the longest and I didn't see myself reading them anytime soon. So I wrapped them and every month I unwrap one and I force myself to read it that month. So we'll see what book this is. Every book that I have has a number on the spine and so I asked my friend Chloe from the Brunette Bibliophile to choose a book for me and she chose number seven. So we're gonna see what book number seven is. These are books that I bought so long ago and I just need to get them out of my TBR. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so this is The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry. This was a book that I received on my Owlcrate. Originally when I got it, I was really, really excited to read this book. However, I heard a lot of bad reviews on this book. And so it just kind of dampened my excitement to read this book just because of all those bad reviews. I still want to read it. And again, it's been sitting on my shelves for the longest time. And so I, I guess it's about time that I read it. All right, and then the next book that I'm reading these are all books now for the Asian Readathon, and the first one is The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chakshi. I think I always mispronounce her last name. <sighs> But this is a book that I received on my Outcrate and I've been hearing some mixed reviews on this book But when the Asian Readathon was announced, I thought it would be perfect to read this book and I am so excited It is about an ancient artifact that needs to be found other than that I don't know what the book is about, but I'm very very excited to read this book All right, and then the next book that I'm planning on reading for the Asian Readathon is Wild Card by Marie Liu This is a sequel to Warcross, which I did read last year and I actually quite enjoyed it wasn't my favorite book of all time it is a video game inspired book and it got a lot of hype when it first came out but I just feel like I didn't like the romance in this book and I feel like the friendships in this book could have been more developed this is my only criticism of the first book Warcross but Warcross left on a huge cliffhanger and so I need to read Wildcard I have had this book for such a long time and I feel like it's about time I find out what happens and the next book that I'm planning on reading for the Asian Readathon is Bruce by Cindy Cindy Pond. This is the sequel to Want by Cindy Pond, which I did read last year. This is more of a sci 
sci-fi book with dystopian elements. It is about a world where basically the rich are rich and the poor are very poor. And the poor are suffering the consequences of a environment that has been incredibly polluted. There are these suits that people from this world have to wear in order to stave off the effects of pollution and obviously the poor they can't afford to wear these suits so they die off at a faster pace than the rich people who can afford to wear a suit and basically this is a story where our main protagonist kind of wants to close the gap between the poor and the rich and I actually quite enjoyed the first book I didn't think it was perfect however again it was just entertaining and I enjoyed it I've been wanting to read the second book for a long time ever since it first came out but I've kind of been delaying again when the Asian readathon was announced I thought it was perfect because obviously the author is Asian and this is actually from what I remember if I remember correctly this is actually set in China so I'm very excited to read this book and there you go guys that is my May TBR my Asian readathon TBR mixed into one let me know in the comments below if you are participating for the Asian readathon and what books you're planning on reading because I would really really love to know what books you chose for your TBR anyway guys thank you all so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already all of my social medias are linked down below including Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads if you like to follow me on those platforms. Hope to see you guys on my next video. Have a good day guys and keep reading. Bye!